Hola compañeros, hoy vamos a leer de nuevo el libro de coronavirus, pero esta vez lo vamos a leer en inglés. Entonces es muy importante que tú me ayudes y pongas mucha atención para que podamos ver qué hacer y por qué nos tenemos que quedar en casa. Why we stay home. Susie learns about coronavirus. Written by Samantha Harris and Devin Scott. Illustrated by Harriet Rodas. Millie, are you awake? Susie asked. Susie was having a hard time sleeping, so she figured she would see if her older sister was still awake. Mm, I am now, Millie responded. What do you want, Susie? I was just thinking how happy I am that me, you, Mommy and Daddy have been staying home together. It's fun, Susie replied. Yes, it is nice having Mommy and Daddy home with us, Susie, Millie responded. But we have to make sure that we remember the reason that we are all home right now. Yes, I know, said Millie. I know, Millie, because of coronavirus. But what is coronavirus anyway? asked Susie. Do you know what coronavirus is? Do you have any questions about it? Let's see if we can answer your questions with our book today, okay? Let's see. Coronavirus is a virus. A virus is a really small germ that you cannot see. There are other kinds of germs too like bacteria and fungi. Germs are everywhere. They're on our bodies, they're on the chairs we sit on, even the door handle to your, door handle to your favorite ice cream parlor. Friends, there are germs everywhere, all over the place, on your body, on the table where you eat, Even on phones, there are lots of germs. So it's really important. What should we do to keep those germs from spreading? We should probably what? Wash our hands, right? We should wash our hands a lot. We should wear masks when we go to the store. It's really important to help keep other people that we don't live with safe and to keep yourself safe too. Let's see what else we can learn. Some germs are good, some are bad, and some don't really do anything. The coronavirus is a bad germ, and it can make people really sick. Some of the people at greatest risk of getting sick are Grandma and Grandpa and Mr. Jones, our neighbor, whose body has a really hard time fighting off germs. So everyone has been staying home to make sure we don't spread coronavirus to them. That's what quarantine means. Some signs that someone is sick with coronavirus are a cough, <coughs> fever, and a sore throat. We can do our part by preventing the spread of coronavirus by washing our hands, wearing a mask when we go to the grocery store or to any store, and standing six feet apart while we wait in line. This is called social distancing. Friends, I know some of us were so tired of staying home, and if some of us have gotten to go to the store with our mommy and daddy, have you noticed that people don't get close to you or people have a mask over their face? I know it can be a little scary, friends, but guess what? They are being great leaders because those people that are wearing masks and staying away, they're trying to keep you safe. And they're trying to stay safe too. So we all have to be responsible leaders and make sure that we wear our masks all the time when we are not home, just so we can keep ourselves and other people safe. Let's keep reading. Oh, 
know. I see, says Susie. But Millie, since we've been at home, I've really missed my friend Alex from school. I understand, Susie. It can be very hard not to see friends and family that don't live with us. But there are still ways that we can say hello to them. We can video chat with them on mommy's computer, if we ask her first. We can call them on the phone, and we can also send them messages to check on them. Some people do not have mommies and daddies, or even sisters with them, and they're all alone in quarantine. So it's really important that we check on them. I understand, Millie. But, Millie, Susie replies, is this how it's going to be all, all the time from now on? Friends, I know some of you miss your friends and your loved ones so much. I miss my family too. You know what you can do? Do you think you could Zoom call your friends if you ask your mommy first? Yeah, that's a great idea. Guess what else you can do? You can write letters to your friends. You can talk to them on the phone. Oh, friends, there's so many ways to have fun and check in on your loved ones. Now, do you think this is gonna last forever? Let's see. No, Susie, it will get better. We just have to keep sticking together. The end. Friends, I really hope you liked that book. And I hope that you understand why it's so important that we stay home right now. I'll see you soon. Bye.